Oh, just one day, <laughs> and I leave. But I was in Tobago for a few days. Well, also one day. <laughs> Caribbean Chronicles by Lisa. First impressions of Port of Spain. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew that one day would not be enough to do a lot in Trinidad. But three people I met whilst traveling across the Caribbean islands cemented this idea of going for one day to Trinidad. I met Orchid on Pebbles Beach in Barbados. She's from Trinidad. And I asked her two questions. Where should I go and what should I eat on both islands? We'll be hearing from her on this episode on what she recommended for Trinidad. I also met another traveler in St. Lucia on the Sunset Cruise that lives in Trinidad. And we were talking about how I love sunsets and sundowners. And he said to me, Liz, if you're ever in Trinidad, be sure to go to Briggs Autograph to watch the sun setting over the port of Spain and enjoy some good drinks. So I was like, check, that's on my list. At number three, I met an Italian chef in Barbados and I was telling him how I felt that the food wasn't spicy enough for me till now. And then he said, being Nigerian as you are, I would recommend Jamaica or Trinidad. Since I knew I wasn't going to go to Jamaica right now, I said, okay. A third point for Trinidad. Before we talk about the plan I made, let's listen to what Orchid recommended. Hello, good morning, people. Yeah. I am here with Orchid, Kid, and yeah. she is. Do you say a Trini? Trini. She's a Trini. Trini to the wall. Yeah, so this is Trini to the wall. Yeah. We are at Pebbles Beach. We're gonna turn around a bit so you can see yeah. the beautiful yeah. Pebbles Beach in yeah. the back. Yes, yes. So I was asking her where to go in Tobago and where to go in Trini and Trinidad. what to eat yeah. Trinidad. And we move over to Trini. Which it, beach, which dish? Okay, you, when you go there, you number one is Maracas <laughs> Beach. We don't have the great of beaches in Trinidad. Tobago has it all. Uh, but Trinidad, the land, the spot is Maracas Beach, where you get your beak <laughs> and shark. <laughs> your floaters, as we call it, the floaters. The floaters, shark. okay. And you got your, all the different trimmings that you can choose to go to. And then there is the doubles okay. along the, 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 the uh, different spots in Trinidad. There is doubles. The doubles now is uh, it's a barrel with um, chana, boiled chana, that is, you know, dried right down with a nice little sauce, mm -hmm. uh, curry sauce. Like, you know, you put a light saffron or something in it and they boil it down really nice and it tastes really, really nice. As everybody should know, chana is like a peas. Ah, yeah, so ah chickpeas, peas. chickpeas. Like yeah, peas. chickpeas, okay. Yeah, and um, you, you, you put that in barrel with whatever sauces you got. You got tamarind sauce and you got chana. Nice. Yeah, so which is the consist is either mango or tamarind or pomsite. You know what, um, have a fruit that is in season, you get that, you know, chutney and you get that sweet sauce and you get a cucumber where it, it's Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm Based on her recommendation, I made the grand plan for one day. My idea was get to my Airbnb, check in, head over to Maracas Bay, have a bacon shuck, enjoy the coastline, head back to town, walk around the savannah, find a spot for a doubles, enjoy my doubles, and then go to Briggs Autograph for a sundowner whilst watching the sunset over Port of Spain. It's a brilliant idea if you're driving yourself. <laughs> but as you all know the story of my life, I was not driving myself and that plan quickly melted into chaos. But before we go into that, let's just enjoy my experience arriving in the Port of Spain, going to my Airbnb, and just a few places I got to see.
exit. I'm going to secretly try to catch some of no problem. Try to catch some of the hairstyles. It's very interesting what they do with their hair here. The men actually. I'll see if I can catch a few of them whilst going out without it being conspicuous. But um let's let's see. Let's see, let's see. I can't find any. I might be lucky to find one or two. We will buy, but I have to ask them. And then, so this way you get to see the best. That's the coffee place behind me. There's a small premium too, but it's not that big. And I can show you part of Spain when we go out. And like I said, try to catch some of the hairstyles of the people. And here there, that is the port of Spain. And that's people getting on. Welcome to Puerto Rico. That's people trying to go down. Um, aha, those are our bags. Getting off the road. Ah, let me see. I think it's going to be a spot to try and get some hairstyles. And then my helmet out. Funny, I'm tired actually. I should go to bed, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to walk into the building. That's where we're getting our suitcases from. And um, try to find out how much a taxi is to go to my Airbnb. And then book the next Airbnb for tomorrow. Oh, that's the museum. Perfect. Right next to the harbor is the museum. I wonder what museum that is. Is this a bank a museum? Is that a bank or a museum? How white make out. Looks like a museum. That's where we get the suitcases, pedestrian walkway. Yes, 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 it's, it's taking it. <laughs> oh god, it's so hot. No! Hey guys, this is Hello Port of Spain. This is my Airbnb. I really like it. Going for 65 euros a night. Um, I don't have the, I don't see a light switch in there for that room. It's the bathroom. So there is a light switch. Okay, maybe it works for the other room as well. And there's the bathroom. And there's some thingy. Oh wow, I really like it to be honest. So I don't see a light for this one, so that's kind of like a minus. But they've done something really good and there's a fridge. I'm in Trinidad. I'm on Alberto Street. I'm walking to, I think it's Avenue. And yeah, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Let's go. I might just leave it on for a second and um, yeah, see what I can show you. Of oh, somebody's in the Friday spirit. I think this is the avenue. And uh, literally, ah, this is the cafe I saw. Yeah, so this is the avenue with everything happening life is actually there and like all the um places aha uh -huh. they have bacon shark here but this is not the one i'm looking for okay that's interesting i should have gone to that one fresh juice is really not a thing here um in fact i fought to find like fresh fruits it's not everywhere it's not like in east africa or in west africa where you find fruits everywhere and you can just buy it and you can make a juice so that juice shops are normal i don't see any juices anywhere no i don't see any fruits anywhere and i don't see any juices or juice shops whatever i just googled one and it's 1.5 kilometers from where i am um i'm not going to i mean the weather is okay but i want to go to the museum so what i'm going to try to do is find out if there's a way for me to get there quicker with by car it's 10 minutes and I realized if the taxi driver takes you alone, sometimes it's like 28, that's what I paid to go from the ferry terminal to where I'm staying. Uh, <clears throat> might be a similar distance. Issue is I don't even know what the taxis look like. 
Um, I got that one because I was standing at the stand and obviously it was a taxi. Um, I don't think they have a taxi sign on top. <sighs> I'm tired. It's hot and I'm tired. They have this uh, Merry Maxi or something like that and that's like the shared taxis or something or shared buses. It has a terminal um, close to the ferry uh, thing where I went to but they were not going to go exactly to where my Airbnb is. That's why I took a taxi. When I asked for a taxi in front of the ferry place, the guy said taxi, and I had asked someone before, so I knew that was not possible. And then um, I went across and got it for 28. So now I'm going to see what the taxi is going to charge me, and maybe how I can easily identify the taxi more or less. Um, but this place I am is called like Wood Woodbrook. That's the neighborhood um, where my ah I saw this early learning thing. I don't know if the juice thing is close by or if it's here there is supposed to be one around here but I, I can't find it it's not on maps it's not uh, I cannot locate it so I'm just gonna try and find um, a taxi to go to the one I um, found now on uh, the map and then I wanted to show you a little bit so our museums closed that's the National Theatre of Performing Arts and there is a park here. I'm um, just gonna show you a bit of that. Don't quite know where I am. And then I'll go back. I'll go to the autograph. Because <laughs> I tried. I really tried. I went to the museum and that was it. As you can tell from that, I kind of failed to succeed in going to Maracas Bay because I learned from people that, first of all, it was an hour away from Port of Spain one way, so I was looking at a two hours commute, and that to do that with public transport late the afternoon was not a great idea, because they were not sure if I was going to be able to come back afterwards. So if I had left at, say, 10 o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning, then coming back at four would have not been a problem, but it was tricky because it was already about one or two before I finally made my way to trying to go to Maracas Bay. So I had to look for alternatives. That's when I thought, hey, let's go to the museum. I got to the location where the museum was, found out it had been closed for a while. Now I was struck, I was like, what's my alternative? What can I do? If I had known about the several old interesting historical buildings and sites prior to my visit, I might have done something with that. But then I asked, okay, can I get a bacon shack in town? I was recommended to go to St. James. Unfortunately, the food court at St. James was closed and it took me a while to get there with the buses I could find. At this point, I was just like, I've had enough. I'm just gonna go to Briggs, gonna have a drink and I hope I catch a beautiful sunset. And I just got off the taxi, but um, what I came to see is not open. Yeah. So tired of of um, Trinidad. I want to go, but I'm gonna go uh, find a cab to go to uh, Bricks if I can find one. Like it's it's the system is so messed up. Seriously, you don't know what's a cab or not a cab, and there's no way of finding out unless they're hung. I need to go find where there's a taxi stand. Or well, um yeah, St James. So I did get a beautiful sunset and things turned around when I got to Bricks and I started to have my drink and enjoy just the music in the background. I met another traveler who introduced me to Whitney. Whitney is the only female taxi driver I met during this trip and she's got big plans for her business. We'll be hearing about that on the following episode on Trinidad because Whitney took me to the night market, I was able to get my doubles and a soup, and she also took me to the airport the next morning. So whilst this might sound like a fail, it was not, because guess what? My Airbnb is a couple of minutes walking distance from the avenue. I now have a driver who I can rely on if I need to get about in Trinidad, and I got to taste the famous doubles. So you best believe that the next time I come back to Trinidad, and hopefully it'll be carnival time, because that's when you're actually supposed to visit, more or less, 
Um, I will be well geared up to have a great time. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Lisa 81.